So now we get to put some things together. Notice we have a product here, this guy times that guy. And unlike in the product rule video where we could have just multiplied things out and it was easier, this guy, I'd rather not, right? I'd rather not foil that thing out four times and then expand that thing into that. I'd rather not do it. So now we have our chain rule to help us out when it comes time for it. But first, we have something times something, so we're doing product rule first. And when it comes time to take the derivative of this part, we'll have to use the chain rule to take the derivative of that. So here we go. So remember product rule we said, we took the derivative of this first guy first, so that's 9x squared, and we left the second part b. And then you add the reverse, so leave the first guy alone, and take the derivative of this. Now when you take the derivative of that, that's what we've been doing in the last problems. So we have something to the fourth, so that's going to be 4 times that something, drop the power down, times the derivative of the inside, so negative 8x. And I've got wonky parentheses, but you don't, I mean brackets, but you don't really need them. Okay, so this is it. That's, we did the calculus part. Uh, but the answer is going to clean things up a little bit. So, mm, what shall I do? We can... So what you see is you've got this 4x, negative 4x squared minus 3, that factor shows up in each piece. Take the smallest exponent you find and factor it out of the whole thing. So if I do that, I can factor out a minus 4x squared minus 3 to the third, right? 4 and 3, so I'm taking out a th to the third. And if I do that, I'll be left with the 9x squared from here, and I'll have one more left over there. And then in this piece, I'll still have 4 times negative 8x is going to be negative 32x. And so, and then I've got the 3x cubed plus 1, and this guy was, all of it was taken out, so that guy is gone. Excellent. So now it's looking a little bit better. We're just clean up this inside. So we have minus 4x squared minus 3 cubed. Uh, distribute minus 36x to the 4th minus 27x squared. Uh, minus 96x to the 4th minus 32x. Lovely. This piece out here is still just chilling. Anything I can combine here? Minus 36 minus 96. Uh, yeah, I can combine that. So I'm getting... So yeah, so I'm getting minus 132x to the fourth, and then uh, minus 27x squared minus the 32x. And what I didn't notice, and I could have pulled out from the beginning, is that each one of them has at least an x in them. So I could have pulled out an x from the start, but since I lost it, I noticed that, hey, I can factor this more. I'm going to pull out an x now. So we've got an x out here. The thing is, you kind of pull out as much as you can when you start, and if you forget something, you can just look and see if it factors more at the end. So it would have been nice had I noticed that up there, but it's okay. And so now I'm going to get this minus 132x to the third minus 27x minus 32. And now we match their answer. Yay! Let's do another one.